Something you may not know about me, or really care, is that I love, love hotels. Aren't these an amazing idea? It's like wooden, I don't even know what they're called, but they slide all the way down to the bottom of the door so no sun gets in. It's quite brilliant. I slept 11 hours last night. What a view. Oh, had to rent a hotel last night, unfortunately. But the Airbnb I was staying at, the AC broke and they had had the window open all day so there was a ton of mosquitoes in there. Again, I didn't know that. Italy has a ton of mosquitoes. And unfortunately, I was there last night and I was just, I was sitting there editing, sweating. I just, I, I, I couldn't, I knew I wouldn't be able to sleep if I stayed there. So, checked out last night. We're on good terms, we're on good terms. Everything's cool. They were nice about it. I just told, I was like, look, I, I gotta go. I'm really sorry, I'm not gonna be able to sleep. So, came over here to Hotel Mirage near the airport. Really nice hotel, I gotta say. Really expensive, but really nice. Couldn't risk not getting a really good night's sleep for the next two nights because I got an hour and a half scooter ride through the Italian countryside to get to Mugello so I can watch MotoGP. And I just, I, I gotta be alert for that. Especially the way Italians drive over here. I knew, I knew. If I wanted to be really safe, I have to get a great night's sleep. So that's another reason why I booked this. Again, no hard feelings. That family is great. The house was amazing. It was just, there's no AC and there are damn mosquitoes in the room. Anyways, I'm gonna go explore Firenze today for a little bit. I went to this like cheap place down the street for breakfast. Something in the United States I'd look at and be like, oh, there's no way I'll walk in there. But the food, everywhere you go, even little cheap shops just on the side of the road are such high quality food. I mean, the cheap shops here are like two star restaurants in LA. It's, it's absolutely amazing. Enough chit chat and let's go explore. I'm kind of disappointed in myself. I didn't go out and explore today. I just sat in here and edited and sat in the air conditioning. It's such a nice room, I didn't want to leave. It's hot outside too, it's super humid. And little did I know, it's a national Italian holiday celebrating Italy as a nation. So everything in Italy is pretty much closed, except for the scooter rental places, which is kind of funny, but all the restaurants around here are closed. I don't know where I'm gonna eat tonight. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I don't feel so bad. I'm gonna have a huge day tomorrow trying to get over to Mugello on a 125cc scooter through the back roads. On top of that, I've spent way more here on this, la on this trip in general than I thought. I thought I was gonna spend 3,500, but it's gonna end up being about 5,500, which whatever. Experiences, money, experiences far outweigh money. So I don't really mind, but it's kinda pissing me off. I compared my last trip when I was gone for two months Two months I was gone, I spent $7,000 total. This I've been one month, it'll be 5,500. But on my last trip, I spent the majority of my time in Southeast Asia, which is extremely inexpensive, and our money goes very far there. And I didn't take that into consideration. I'm really sad though, Francesca's not hitting me up. Such a wonderful girl. Eh, whatever. Terminally single life forever. I am gonna go out here in a second and get some food and probably try to find some cool things to look at. But after spending the last, you know, few weeks going to cities and just looking at buildings and places to go, I'm not into museums or, uh, you know, paying to, to do stuff, unless it's like cycling or something I really enjoy, which is pretty much cycling and eating. But I'm just, you know, kind of over doing the touristy things. And I don't like walking around with a bunch of tourists, it's kind of stressful, and it's hot and humid outside. I sound like a little crybaby, don't I? I'm having fun, don't get me wrong, I'm having a lot of fun. Sun's going down, it's a little cooler. I decided, you know what, let's go to the center, Florence, Ferrende, and explore for a while.
this Italian restaurant, obviously. It's pretty damn good, but I literally ordered it and they brought it out a minute later and it's warm. So that like worries me. They must have had a big batch made and then just threw it into a bowl. Dang it. Gelato after a touristy Italian meal. That place, it was really good, but honestly, it was overpriced and they brought it out in under a minute. Mmm, something smells fishy about that. Although I had a pork dish. <laughs> this tastes exactly like a cold, healthy Nutella. Call me Sally, that is amazing. This is a beautiful city. I've walked from one side of Florence all the way back to the other. I'd love to live here. That's it, folks. That's it for the night.